Alrighty, so looking now to the reigning premiers, mm. Collingwood. Um, I don't think I'm going to get used to saying that um, throughout this year, but reigning premiers, Collingwood, where are they sitting at uh, about two weeks out from the season? Yeah, they, um, yeah, all eyes on, on the pies this year after you know, taking that leap um, under Craig McCraney's first season and then really solidifying themselves as a, as a contender last year and before going on to win it. Um, in one of the best games we've seen for some time, I believe. Um, but yeah, preseason, I think they've been fairly steady. Look, they've had a few setbacks. Obviously, Dan McStay is a massive blow. Um, Josh Dacos pretty <coughs> interrupted with his leg concern, but back full training this week. Harry DiMattia, who was you know, slated for a potential you know, um, you know, opening round debut or round one debut. And mm. um, unfortunately, he'll miss uh, the first you know, month or two of the season as well. So... Um, yeah, That's a, few, a bummer. A lot of excitement there. around him. Yeah, uh, Jamie Elliott, Braden Maynard both had off-season surgery, but you know they did that pretty early into the off-season to make sure that they would be fit for the start of the year. So they should be fairly fit. It's just the big question is who replaces Mick Stay. Um, you know, it's probably Ash Johnson. Uh, Nathan Kruger had a pretty good hit out in his uh, in the intra club <laughs> recently, uh, and then Reef McInnes is probably that young up and coming option that they they really want to be seeing more from this season i think that they're they, they're always quite excited about him and he got he's had some looks over the last couple of years but probably just hasn't had that consistency that they're that they're after and then another one is finn mccray who was yeah fantastic in the intra club um there's been a lot of talk about him throughout preseason and and then yeah it was on full display as to why um he's getting a lot of plaudits um just with his midfield work rate and then they obviously signed this week or in the last week, Jack Bytel, uh, Lockie Sullivan, and Josh Air Air will miss probably until about April with a, a new hamstring injury. But um, Sullivan's the one that yeah definitely could be playing opening round. He's probably competing with McRae though, and I think that they'll probably um, prefer McRae. But those two combined really nicely um, in the intra club against um, a pretty good opposition in you know, Nick Dacos, Scott Pendlebury. So um, yeah, it's a nice little mix for them um, and. A few good options to consider after losing Taylor Adams uh, in the offseason. Yep, absolutely. Um, Going to be a very exciting opening round um, game against GWS. And I love the president of GWS coming out and just saying what how we all feel, really. <laughs> just, just hey, Collingwood. It's... Um it's turning into a nice little rivalry, mm. um, and I think yeah, this is I think this is also adding to what our opening round is. They're probably not maybe games that would you know bring in huge crowds round six, round seven. Um, take advantage while the NRL is also out of town, and also bring in a few games that just have you know, the little attached storylines to them. Yeah, and just you know kind of um, cash in. So no, this is it's going to be a pretty packed game at Giant Stadium, you would think, with a strong contingent of Collingwood fans. Yeah fun stuff um whether you like them or not they're going to be a very exciting team to watch all year pretty much <laughs>